Oh, I need to apologize. <laughs> I have not posted in such a long time and it's been like probably a month now or over a month and I feel so, so shitty about it, but I've just been going through a little bit of a rough patch um, the whole year, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say I'm sorry for not posting. I feel really, really bad about it, but I've just been dealing with some, like, body image issues and just self-esteem issues. So I haven't really felt like sitting down and putting on makeup and uploading a video in quite a while. And I've just been playing a lot of Sims, and it's, like, it's kind of bad. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here today because I have a really exciting video. I have this package that I'm going to open for you guys. And this is kind of like a surprise, like a mystery box unboxing because I still don't know yet if I was actually scammed or not. I'm starting to feel better about it. I don't think I was, but <laughs> it was like such a good deal. It's too good to be true. Also, before I really want to jump into that, I want to say a huge, the biggest shout out and thank you possible to Mural Superset on uh, YouTube who commented on my most recent upload and said that she... Uh, I, I want to say they them because I'm not sure um, like you know with our YouTube accounts and stuff I can never tell like um, the real genders and stuff especially with doll collectors because they'll use like dolls as their profile pictures and it's not really um, and their accounts like this Instagram account is focused on their doll collection so I'm just gonna try to say they them because I don't want to offend or anything because I know that there's you know lots of men and women in the doll community so I'm gonna play it safe I I'm assuming it's a girl that I was speaking to, but I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to assume and um, offend this person. So <laughs> I want to give a huge shout out to Mural Superset for leaving such a sweet comment saying that they missed me. And I, that really like broke my heart. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I haven't posted in so long. So if you're watching this, you really, really encouraged me and motivated me to post this video. And hopefully this video will have a domino effect where I'll be back to posting regularly again because I did have so much fun with it, but I just need to get out of this funk that I'm in with myself and sometimes that takes a while. But I also want to shout out their Instagram page and we had the nicest conversation about body image issues and insecurities and we just kind of related about that. So I just wanted to make sure if you're watching this that you knew how much I appreciate you and how much our little chat meant to me and how much you've inspired me and motivated me. And I'm just really grateful for you and obviously everyone that comments on my videos, but I just thought it was so sweet that this person took the time to actually message me and we could like bond. So I totally, totally appreciate you messaging me and I did want to share your Instagram on here. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Definitely everyone go follow Bratz fan page. I'll put a screenshot here. Super cute, super cool photos. I love the collection. I'm loving all these pictures, especially Charlie. Oh, I love Charlie and it looks like they have her full outfit and everything. So, so cute. Um, adult Bratz collector and I just love the, <laughs> that like emoji thing with the eye lip eye it's so funny to me so definitely go follow their Instagram page they're the sweetest person ever and I just needed to throw that into this video before I continued with this unboxing because I wanted to make sure that person knows how much that really meant to me that we had that sweet little conversation and it was just really nice but anyway <laughs> Before I blabber on into um, infinity, let's go ahead, open this box. This purchase was a purchase I made on Facebook Marketplace and it, there were so many red flags. I'm normally like, as soon as one red flag shows up with a, with a sale, I'm like, no, next, like block the person, like move on to the next because there's so many scammers in the doll community and there's people that are hiking up the prices and just making it like impossible and not fun anymore to collect dolls so when i saw this was such a good deal this is supposed to be a bunch of my scene barbie dolls i think 11 of them and they all looked like they were in you know they had clothes they were all dressed they all had shoes on and then in the pictures the pictures were really blurry and kind of sus so i couldn't really tell but it looked like they had a bunch of extra shoes and some extra clothing and then maybe even a my scene like bag but, you know, like I said, I have no idea because the purchase process was just a little bit confusing. I messaged the seller because they were selling this entire bundle 
for um, $65. And I thought like, oh, that's crazy because you could get, you know, two Mycene dolls for the price of like $35 and those are out of box and everything. So it's like, if I, if this is real, <laughs> I better jump because when I noticed it on the Facebook marketplace, it was only posted an hour ago. So I was like, oh, I need to like message these people ASAP. And, um, and so I did, I told him, hi, is this available? Would you ship to California? Because this person was not in my state. He messaged back and said, oh, I have somebody interested for 75. So I'll let you know if they um, fall through or whatever. And so then I was kind of like, if it's listed at 65, why would someone offer more? Is, or like, is he just trying to be sneaky and try to get me to offer more? Does he know what he's doing? Oh. I see the corner of the bag already. I'm really excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think it was real. I don't think I got scammed. But anyway, let me just continue with my story because it was a really um, sketchy purchase. <laughs> anyway, so I was kind of sad. I have, I just want to open it, but I want to wait. <clears throat> I'll try to be fast. <laughs> so then the next day I woke up and I hadn't heard anything. And of course, like I kept looking at the picture. Gosh, if that is legit, I need to swipe because that is such a good deal. And um, so I messaged him because I was paranoid about it. And I was like, hey, so did it work out? Like, you know, what's gonna happen? He said, oh yeah, you could get them. The other person didn't want to do it or he said something like that. And then he said, call my wife. And then he gave her name and her phone number and said, call her ASAP to set it up or to figure it out. And I was like, I mean, can I just click the buy now option? Like, why do we have to do all this? So I was like, okay, there's gonna be, there's like some acrobatics behind the scenes. Like, I don't understand this. So, um, at this, that was the first red flag. Cause it's like, they're trying to take the sale off of the website because if you buy now through Facebook, then it's like, you know, it's secured and you do your payment process through there and everything. So I was thinking like, okay, this, this doesn't sound like it's real. So I was starting to get a little bummed out, but I was curious still. I was like, well, I could always just text the number and see what happens because I did look at his profile and I did confirm like his profile was married to a woman with that name that he sent me and then I went to her profile and like they just looked like a couple like grandma and grandpa you know kind of deal so I thought you know maybe they're just like confused because I don't know I'll just give it a chance so I texted this number I said I'm so sorry I'm in a lecture for class like a zoom lecture <laughs> I wasn't I'm not trying to call a stranger like I hate phone calls in general why would I like call a stranger but um Anyway, so I texted this number and then a few hours go by, I didn't get a response. I sent them a screenshot of the messages in case it was some random number. I was like, hey, your husband instructed me, oops, your husband instructed me to um, call this number, but I'm in a Zoom lecture, I'm calling about the dolls, I'm asking about the dolls, and um, here's a screenshot of the messages. And so I waited a few hours, didn't get a reply. The story is going on way too long. I'm so sorry. I know you're here for an unboxing, but trust, it's gonna be even more exciting once you get past all this crap because then it'll feel like you worked for it, you know? Or you could skip. Maybe I'll put a timestamp so you can ignore my stupid story. I asked her in the test, so can't I just do the buy now option? Like I'm confused, why are we doing this over text? And then this is what they replied. I don't buy off there either. I just contact the seller and see how they wanna pay. I've done most of her cash app. It's hard to trust people. Uh, I'll let them go for 75. I'll ship them to your address and send the tracking number. I don't know how else you want to pay for them. I've never paid over Marketplace, so IDK. I've been collecting for a while, but I'm just going to stick to porcelain dolls now. I have so many, which made me happy because that means these are a collector's dolls and not like some little kid's like disaster in this box. So I got really, really excited about that. I'm like, okay, if this is legit, then this is going to be collector's dolls. They're going to be in good condition. Like, thank goodness. I have a cash app, but I don't use it. And I especially wouldn't use it for something like this because I don't know like how easy it is to get scammed with cash app. So I told them, I told her I'd prefer to go with PayPal. Um, I said I don't have Cash App. And I said, oh, so is it, it's listed as 65. Is that, is the 75 including shipping or is it 75 and then shipping on top of that? And then they said that no, it'll all be 75 with shipping and everything. They said they don't have a PayPal account. And that's when I stopped replying because I was like, okay, that's weird, right? I feel like everyone has a PayPal account. So then I was kind of like, I'm probably getting scammed and I just didn't want to accept it. <laughs> Ooh, Sloan uploaded. <gasps> okay, side note, we just watched the Framing Britney documentary last night um, or like episode from the New York Times or whatever it is on Hulu and it was pretty good. I feel like it barely scratched the surface though. Like there's a whole rest of the iceberg, you know, 
underneath the water that a lot of people don't really know about and I watch a lot of Sloan's videos which I'll put links to the videos in the description below but he's such a sweetheart and he's so nice and he uploads regularly um, so if you need a new person to like watch anywho so yeah I stopped replying after the PayPal thing because I was sketched out but then she replied a little while later she's like okay I made an account I think um, I think I did it right here's the email address and I was like this, I know that, like, well, I, obviously I'm happy I did it, but I know, like, every one of these things sounds like, oh, girl, just stop. Like, you're getting scammed. But at that point, I was like, well, if I just send it through goods and services and it doesn't work out, then I can get my money back. I can get a refund. So it's like, I'm not really losing anything. I'm just losing that $75 for, like, maybe a couple weeks just to like figure out if I got scammed or not but it will come back as long as I do goods and services which if you're a doll collector and you don't use goods and services on PayPal or if a seller ever tries to convince you to use friends or family you will not get your money back and you are most likely being scammed I know some sellers don't like to do goods and services because they do take a small fee from that because it's like um, you know, it's like a business transaction or whatever and friends and family is more like oh I'm just gonna give my brother 20 bucks and send it through PayPal So they don't take any fees and sellers sometimes will try to convince you to do that because they don't want to pay the fee Which is usually like it's a small percentage. I don't remember how much it is But I feel like the seller should pay that little dollar fee I think it's kind of tacky when sellers say the product is $60 But you need to send me $63 to cover the fee and then on top of shipping and everything because so, it's like if you're gonna sell something like wouldn't that be like the taxes you're paying on selling that item. I don't know. I don't know, but whatever. So I did. I sent her the money. Everything was a little confusing. She wasn't sure how to put the tracking information into PayPal. She wasn't sure anything about PayPal. Like she clearly is somebody's grandma that doesn't know anything about the computer. Anyways, I just really want to get into this box now. So now that the story is out of the way, hope that story made any sense. I don't know. I'm just like rambling, but okay. My scene bag. This is cool, this is cool. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Okay, everything's in here. Empty, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, it, is, it even has a little like purse keychain. It's a little old, she's a little dusty, a little busted, you know, the sides of the bag are a little, a little bit ratchet. Does have like an interesting, ooh, wait. Oh my god, Wisconsin basements at my cousin's house. It smells like Wisconsin basements. This is making me nostalgic. I love the smell of basements. I don't know why. It just smells like murky and like kind of wet and like just cementy. I don't know how to explain it. I'm in California, so we don't have basements out here. But like whenever we go visit my cousins in Wisconsin and we go into their basements because they've all got basements because like tornadoes this like they come through, rip your house apart. But it just smells like that basement vibes <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so excited I see some dolls in here already oh my god there's a cat girl this is way more Ooh, okay okay one thing at a time oh um, maybe I'll even do a close-up going through the little baggie um, after this I'll just give you a brief overview but there's a ton of clothing in here there's even a hairy little dog hairy little dog thing wow that's really special. Oh my goodness. And there's boots. I see matching pairs already of shoes. Okay. This is exciting. <laughs> all right. And now the dolls. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. They're all dressed. They look to be in such good condition, you guys. This is so exciting. Also, I don't know who... Um, oh, her whole boob is off. Sorry, girl. I don't really know. I'm not too familiar. Oh my gosh, she's even wearing a necklace. <gasps> Ooh, it makes me wonder if these are all their original outfits because I don't really know who they are. Um, like, I know from the picture there was a ton of blondes, so I probably have a bunch of um, Kennedys and Barbies, I think. But this is the first one. Ooh, she kind of she kind of stinks. Like, she smelled like bad basement, you know, like not the good kind. Um, definitely been in storage for a while. Okay, and then the next one. Oh, I was saying, I'm probably gonna go onto a Facebook group and try to get these all ID'd while I'm editing this video so that I can put a little picture of um, who they are in the video next to them. But if there's any that I miss or I don't do that for some reason, if you guys could help me out in the comments to let me know who's who if you know, because that would be really great. But I'm gonna try to have them all ID'd in a Facebook group before I post this. Oh, she has a cute little tattoo. It's like shiny. 
she's beautiful. Her hair feels really, really soft and fluffy. I think it's Kanekalon. Really, really nice. I love her outfit. And she's got shoes on too. That is the most exciting thing because like I didn't have enough clothes or shoes to dress my other dolls, which that's where Corey Gordon came through and sent me a little baggie with some Mycene shoes and accessories. So now I have even more to work with and I'm so excited. One of these I definitely want to do a reroute. Maybe on one of my like ratchet ones that I had. Next one. She's very cute. I like her shirt a lot. Um, that's nice. And little shoes. I always thought they have normal feet, right? Oh yeah. Okay. I thought I always thought uh, my scene shoes were like a little strange. Like I almost just prefer regular Barbie shoes, the heels that go on, because these just look kind of chunky and like awkward. But I know that they were trying to compete with Bratz at the time, who was like ruling the doll world. Oh my goodness, yes! A, a rooted eyelash one. <gasps> okay, I don't know much about these dolls, but I have a feeling the ones with rooted eyelashes are um, like more sought after. I think this is No Lee. Yes, that makeup boo. Everything looks perfect. There's literally like, I mean, there's like a little mark under her neck, but they're, they're literally in perfect condition, like for a secondhand used doll. And the fact that they have earrings, can we just, earrings, both of them, a necklace, shoes, like matching pairs, everything. This is the best. This reminds me of the doll that Claudina Nine sometimes uses for her like when she does a voiceover, it's rerouted with like, hers has like white or platinum blonde hair, but this one, her face kind of looks like that doll. Maybe it is her, I don't know. <gasps> she has a bracelet on, oh my gosh, look at her little watch. <laughs> it's like sparkly, but she also has sunglasses on. <gasps> Beautiful, I cannot wait to clean these up. Okay, so this one is um, Chelsea, I think, yeah red hair really really cute I love this shirt like this outfit is definitely serving oh these one aren't okay this one has an articulated body and that makes me really really happy like look at that arm movement yes oh my goodness oh she's really like oh yeah sis is like a gymnast she's a little wobbly oh glasses fell off wait these look like brats glasses no they look like slightly too big for her but she is really pretty. Her hair, ooh, feels super soft, super nice. Ooh, yay, I got a Madison. Okay. Madison, we love her. Oh, those blue eyes, so beautiful. This queen. I'm, I am like, <laughs> I mean, this is still a great deal. Like, I don't care at all. But if there's one thing, it's kind of a bummer that they are all mostly blonde because I would have loved to have more diversity in my Mycene collection. But I mean, I really can't complain about this deal. So I'm taking who I can get and I'm happy about it. I feel like this is one of the ones from that like bling collection. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's just what she's wearing. So that's what makes me think she is. Her leg is a little wonk. Um, probably just because it's been stored so long. I'm sure with like some hot water, maybe I could try to like bend it back into place. Uh, or it's like not that noticeable when she's standing, so. And then this is the last doll. And this one looks like a no Lee as well. I love the purple eyes. I think, <laughs> I've said it before, but I've got such a thing for dolls with purple eyes. I think it's the prettiest ever. See, these shoes are so strange because they just look so chunky and it's like, when they're not boots, they're just really odd looking. Such like funky little fashions back in the day in the 2000s. Like it was such a different time. All right, so now I just have this little baggie. So I'll probably switch the camera around and then we'll go through this bag together. And then that should be the end of this video. Okay, I took the camera off the tripod so we can really get in here. Just a little bag of accessories and clothing. Ah, so exciting. Okay, so we have blue pair of boots here really cute and then ooh, I love this dress oh my goodness this gives me um Bratz Yasmin girls night out dress vibes really really pretty I love that there's no rips no tears Ooh, and here's like a little looks like a um, bathing suit bottom bikini bottom that's cute maybe we'll find the rest of that. This is what I was most concerned about is this hairy thing here. Oh, we're stuck on the Velcro. What is this? What is this? <laughs> this is like their rendition of like pampered pets 
from Bratz. I don't know. Like, is it a cat? I think it's a cat. Really strange. The tail makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, we have another little pet. This is really cute. It looks like a little pug. Adorable. Pair of shorts. I'm so excited about these clothes because now I'll have so many options to choose from. Oh, that makes me happy. And then this, what is this? A shirt? Oh, it's a dress. This is a really cute dress. I like that. And the flower. Uh, see, if this, if these were like, you know, if these belonged to a child, that flower would have been ripped off. There would have been seams everywhere, just busting. These pants are interesting. I'm not sure about the color combo. Um, purple, silver, and red. That doesn't really speak to me, but just the fact that they're in good shape is really, really appealing. So can make that work. Pick an outfit with that. These look like more bottoms. I think, oh yeah, this is the matching bottom to whatever she's wearing. Cute. I really like her, she's so pretty. Face, cute, okay. And ooh, ooh, this is cute. Nice, very, very nice. This one really gives me old school Barbie vibes, like this right here. This reminds me of like the old Barbie clothes that we have because we have so many Barbies up in my attic. I've just never really been like, or at least as an adult, I'm not really into Barbie. Um, so I'm not trying to like get them down and clean them and collect them just because, I don't know, I prefer Bratz and my scene. My scene's probably as close to Barbie as I'm gonna get, honestly. This looks like a cute top, crop top. I really like that and it's just amazing that the um, like pleather material is still intact. That's so rare for secondhand dolls. Usually it's like all cracked and gross looking. Even the ones that I have that were up in our attic. <laughs> this one's really good. And this is a really cute shoe. This looks like Bratz. Definitely looks like Bratz. And here's a little wedge and a boot. There's a pair. These are pretty cute. Not the biggest fan of my scene shoes, honestly. Um, but those ones are right. Oh, I thought we had a match. I know that there's gonna be some odd pairs. Okay, yeah, so I think these are all without their pair, which is fine. And then there's a red pair of boots. Cute. And it's just exciting that they already have shoes on, so I'm not too concerned about missing pairs here. Maybe I'll find them somewhere else at thrift shop or my next, you know, haul or whatever, but not too worried about that. I just have enough shoes to dress them, so that's the exciting part. Ooh, here's a little hat. Cute. And what is this? Oh, a shirt. Ooh, that's cute. And it looks good with this little hat. Nice. And then we have, wow, and the belt is still intact, you guys. That is bonkers. <laughs> cute little brown leather skirt really fun and then here's like a little cardigan looking jacket or sweater that's cute cute Ooh, I like this skirt right here that's fun wow. oh there's like it's like velvety material on the back really soft okay we've looked at all these right did I did we look at these um, Oh, this goes with this. Is this another like bathing suit? Cute. Okay. Ugh. All the Velcro is like stuck together. That's a little tip for everyone. If you store doll clothes, make sure all the Velcro is like stuck together. I'm gonna go through all these. I'm probably gonna wash these first, honestly, because they smell a little musty, but that's just, ooh, a necklace. That's exciting. That's a really cute necklace. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. Oh my gosh, speaking of fun, fun, fun. Did you guys hear Rebecca Black's remix of Friday? <laughs> I can't tell if it's better or worse, so you'll have to check it out for yourself, but it's it's a lot. Okay, here's a skirt. Really cute. Again, like surprised at the quality. This one's a little cracky, you can see. Um, that it's just got some cracks in it, but you know, overall, not too bad. Look at these shoes, by the way. I just bought these on Amazon because 
they are rain shoes. They're like a rubber, like plastic material, except for the laces. But I'm really excited about these because in California, it rains maybe like twice a year. And I just never know what to wear on rainy days because all my shoes are like sneakers, flip flops, sandals, not really rain weather shoes. I do have some Doc Martens that my sweet little niece gave me, but they're hard to drive in because I drive a stick shift car. So I've got three pedals going on down there and the boots, like they slightly, um, touch the other pedals so like if I'm braking and putting in the clutch or if I'm putting in the clutch then sometimes my left foot will like hit the brakes too so it's like a really abrupt like weird thing when I'm driving with those shoes on so I needed something smaller and just something that'll like match more everyday outfits instead of like some big old boots you know that's totally irrelevant but here's another shirt cute these are all stuck together let me try to Oh, that's cute. It has a little tie on it. That's really cute. I'm gonna lay these all out so you can actually see. So we have this cute shirt with a tie. <laughs> that's really adorable. And then a little crop top, or what do they call these? Tube tops or something? Like strapless skirt. Really, really cute. And then this skirt is interesting. I don't know about the belt. It's got some like fuzz on it. Maybe there was purple material on there before. It just kind of looks like it got a little messed up but then i live for this denim dress so cute and a brown jacket that's really soft pretty basic and then this little top i really really like i love the ones that tie um around the neck i think that's really cute the pattern is really cute uh, but okay i think that's everything um yeah so that was pretty little mini unboxing here and an unbagging if you will that was really cute i am so excited to get them all cleaned up and pick out their outfits and just oh just have my little my scene moment so look out for that video i'm sure it's coming soon but anywho let's get back to my weird little face hee <laughs> hee all right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was more chill and relaxed and um, what we're used to, the chaos of my normal videos. But I just wanted to say a really huge thank you to everyone that watched if you made it this far. I know I can talk forever, so sorry about that. Um, anyways, again, I wanna apologize for not uploading consistently like I said I was going to. I'm just so fake and I'm tired of it and I know you are too, but let's hope I turn over a new leaf once I get back into editing this video and it kinda you know, motivates me to get back into the swing of things and uploading consistently because I do have another exciting unboxing Camp Cutie that my lovely boyfriend Daniel got for me for Valentine's Day. I really, really wanted her. She was the first one I wanted from this line and I never ended up getting her because she sold out everywhere and my baby hunted her down and got her for me for Valentine's and I'm really excited to check her out. I haven't even looked to see if her face is perfect so I'll save that for all on camera. And I'll probably do that video sometime this week. But, you know, I'm not going to make any more promises because we know what happens when I do that. <laughs> Anywho, thank you so much for watching. And please leave a comment down below um, if you know anything about these dolls or anything I should know. Because I'm really new to collecting my scene. I didn't even expect to find such a deal like this. I never really thought my collection would expand beyond the ones that I have already that I showed you in my... Um, my Henry video, I believe that one, but yeah, let me know if you think I got a good deal or not. If there's like some special dolls in there, um, I would love to know, obviously. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you have a blessed rest of your week and I hope that this new year is just prosperous and exciting and wonderful for everyone that lays eyes on this video and everyone in general. I mean, we could all be a little more positive, so let's try to put that out into the universe. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much. I love you. And please comment down below. I miss talking to you guys. <laughs> and again, thank you so much, Meryl Superset or Bratz fan page on Instagram. You, that interaction meant more to me than you'll ever know. But anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.